net neutrality. It's a seemingly complicated hot button term, but it's actually based on a pretty simple philosophy, that everything on the internet should be treated equally. Broadband providers shouldn't be able to decide which websites to block or to slow down. Let's look at an example. I pay for cable and internet through a service provider. So when I go online, I expect to be able to watch all the GOAT videos my heart desires. And when I go on Netflix, I expect to be able to binge House of Cards without any interruptions in service. But without net neutrality, there's nothing stopping my service provider from simply blocking websites or slowing down the streaming speeds of websites, like Netflix. And it's already happened. In 2007, Verizon blocked text messages from a pro-choice abortion rights group. Verizon said they had the right to prevent consumers' access to any groups the company might deem controversial or unsavory, though they quickly backtracked. And just last year, Comcast slowed Netflix's streaming speeds until Netflix paid for smoother streaming. Netflix accounts for more than 30% of internet streaming, and Comcast believed that they should be accountable for some of the infrastructure upgrade costs. In February, when Netflix paid up, speeds went back up, as you can see here in the red line. Here's an analogy. Let's say FedEx wants Amazon to give them money because Amazon packages take up a large portion of their shipments, and FedEx thinks that they should chip in for their truck repairs. To pressure Amazon, FedEx slows down their delivery time, but the consumer is the one who paid for the two-day shipping in the first place, and the consumer is the one hurt by having her packages delayed. The FCC wants to establish clear rules to make sure that broadband providers can't do this. They plan to define the internet providers as common carriers under Title II of the Communications Act. Companies regulated under Title II can't discriminate what services they're providing to the consumer. It's why FedEx can't discriminate against Amazon deliveries. Democrats and President Obama strongly support these regulations. Many Republicans in the broadband industry see it as more unnecessary government oversight. They worry the regulations will prevent innovation and growth. The thinking goes, if AT&T and Comcast are required to let anyone use their lines for free, why would they spend billions of dollars building them in the first place? They also see the free market as a solution. If you don't like Comcast slowing your Netflix, switch to Verizon. The sticking point there is the majority of American consumers currently only have one provider of high-speed internet service to choose from. The debate will likely continue after the FCC rules on this February 26th.